Sadi, are you ready to do some cooking? I am ready. Great, because I love to cook. You like to eat? I love to eat. Well, then we're going to make out just fine in here. OK. Now, do you do a lot of cooking normally? Not really. I try to cook that lasts me a couple of days. OK, well, I want to do a recipe with you that's easy, it's healthy, and it has lots of flavor. That sound good? Great. All right, so we're going to be doing chicken and egg cauliflower fried rice. All right. Now, if you notice in the title, I said cauliflower. Yeah. Am I going to use regular rice? Because a lot of times, people just want to be healthier, lighten up on the carbs. Now, a lot of people haven't had cauliflower rice. It's basically just a pan of cauliflower that's been put into a food processor and broken down. But it actually has a really good texture and takes on any flavors that you cook with. So mm. it's really versatile. So you ready to get into this? I'm ready. OK, so what we have to do first is crack these eggs. So what inspired you to start your lifestyle business? Well, being a single woman over the age of 30, you're always pressured and asked why you're single, why you don't have kids. So I want to train other women to know that they don't have to be married by a certain point in time. They can enjoy their lives right now where they are. I started the podcast for those topics. I also have a series of guided journals for women oh, that nice. cover subjects like money, lifestyle, relationships. Nice. So I put a little salt in here. Go ahead and put that turmeric in. What I love about turmeric is not only does it have a bunch of nutrition, it makes this beautiful yellow color. Mm -hmm. So once we whisk these eggs, we're just going to set them to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and start sauteing up our veggies. Okay. Can you turn on your stove for me? Sure. Medium. Go ahead and put our untoasted sesame oil in. Let's put the onions in the pan. Some garlic, some carrots. I like to load it up with veggies. Let's get some pepper in here. OK, so now we can get our mushrooms in the pan. So we're going to let this saute for a couple minutes. Do you enjoy doing your podcast? I do. Coming up with those topics is really fun. So where do you find most of your inspiration? Some of the women who follow me will ask questions. I'll find media stories, anything that will help inspire and encourage single women. I think it's great that you started a podcast so that you have you know, something that people feel the same way that you do, mm -hmm. can have something to listen to. Right. I feel like they're not alone out there, right? OK, so we're ready to put our eggs in the pan. This egg really starts to marry all of the ingredients together. And I love how the turmeric added this beautiful golden color. Mm. You mentioned that when you cook, you like to cook foods that last a while? But at least a couple of days. Yeah, this is definitely one of those recipes. I like to cook once and eat three times. All right, so this is looking really good. So we're going to move on to the next step, okay. which is to go ahead and add our cauliflower in. I'm going to get that in there, spread it all around. So the key here is to really get this mixed up good so that the cauliflower can start steaming and cooking. But we don't want to overcook it because then it'll get soggy. Now we're going to add the peas and the chicken. Now the peas and the chicken are already cooked. We are just going to saute this all up. All right, this looks good. Now let's go ahead and get our last ingredients in. Okay. This is soy sauce. And this is rice vinegar. Okay. And I'll do the last one. This is toasted sesame oil, which I absolutely love. It smells great. No, doesn't it? I think you'll really like this recipe, too, because it's all made in one pan, right? right? So there's not much cleanup at all. OK, let's serve this up. And then I have some scallions that you can use, and some sesame seeds, and also some hot sauce. Doesn't yeah, it smell good? I love spicy. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Well, now you have my recipe. We made it together, so you can do it again. OK. And you know what? Speaking of recipes, I'm going to leave you with my cookbook. Food for Life. Oh, thank you. So you'll find this recipe in there, along with many others. And you can go to HomemadeSimple.com or search Homemade Simple on Pinterest for more recipes that I think you'll love. We're going to have to save some of this for everybody else. Right. Because <laughs> I think they're going to smell it when they walk in, for sure. <laughs>